My name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. Welcome to the Soul Gym series. Viewers may have done classes in a gym and noticed, like I have, that I can actually do more in that class. I can do about 20% more press-ups, for example, when I'm in a group of other people. And it's not that I don't try hard on my own. Uh, there's just something about being swept along with the collective sense of a group. Now, we're social animals, and being able to be with a group is a particularly useful skill. So in any company, for example, or just another person in a relationship, being able to be with someone is, is vital. Counselors and, and people working esoterically with meditation actually have words for this. They'll talk about the collective field, for example. And this might sound a bit weird, but all this means in, in a gym class is that you're aware of other people and you're aware that there's a we as well as an I there. If you can really tune into that by staying present to the group, that will really help. That will help what the work you're doing, it will help you be more in touch with other people emotionally, uh, and it will help you enjoy what you're doing. The great thing about a gym is we can actually practice this, and it doesn't mean you know, going around staring at anyone or touching anyone, it just means being aware that you're in a group, and critically we can practice it under pressure. So what happens for many people is under pressure, they either lose themselves and put all their attention on the teacher or the group, or they go into themselves and start uh, contracting and suffering. You'll see people sort of closing their eyes. Um, and this actually makes the pain, the discomfort they might be feeling from, say, doing a lot of press-ups or running a lot, actually much worse. So being able to stay present with oneself and this sense of the group at the same time this is a critical life skill for leadership, for love, for many, many things. Uh, and a gym is a place we can practice that.